morality with motomity. Lewis, here's the scenario for this week. You run an orphanage, okay? You're having a hard time making ends meet. A car dealership contacts you and says, listen, we've got a $15,000 van. We'll give it to you for free, okay? So you'll have this van to drive around the, the kids from the orphanage. The thing is, we need you to falsely report it as a $30,000 van on your taxes so that we get a deduction for the $30,000 instead of $15,000. You really need the van. It'll give you an opportunity to make the children happier, bring them to different places. Do you agree to take the van and lie on your taxes? What do you do? Um, yeah, I'd probably lie about it on my taxes. You would do that. You, yeah. would you think it's the greater good. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Natan, what do you think on this one? Would you lie and tell the dealership, sure, I'll say $30,000. That's exactly right. Even though it's not worth that to get this van. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, why, why wouldn't you want to lie in your taxes if the greater good is there? Well, because it's illegal and you could go to jail. Right. But I really I'm doubt the IRS is going to go after you. Uh, in such a scenario. Okay, but does that make it the right decision morally? In other words, is it still the greater good because you might not get caught? That's like saying, well, I'll steal bread to feed my family, which Lewis has said he would do. Which I said anyone would do. Anyone would do. Is it morally better if it's unlikely you'll get caught? Yeah, it's unlikely the IRS will really look into every single car donation specific value, but you're breaking the law and it's not, it's not actually ethical. Uh, or rather, well, I guess I'm asking you whether it is ethical in the sense that you're helping these kids. You're still breaking the law, though. Mm -hmm. It being yeah. less likely that you're caught doesn't make a difference. Um, right. Still, I, I would do it. You don't care. I'm fine with it, yeah. Yeah, you know, I think I, I probably would, too. I have to say, I think I would, too. Even though I, um, I am scared of those IRS audits. It really seems like the equivalent, the financial equivalent of like a body cavity search. A full body mm. cavity search, even more very, extensive very than what I get yeah. from the TSA, yeah. The real question is whether you would do it if later on in your life you're planning on, say, running for office. Okay, let's say that, Lewis. Later in your life you were planning on running for office. Would you still lie on the taxes for the donation? No. <laughs> because someone will turn it up. But if you're unlikely to be caught, then why would it make a difference? Because when you run for office and you have a chance, everything gets dug up. Okay. What, 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 would that change it for you, Natan? I don't know. I mean, in this particular case, um, it might actually be good. I mean, more, people might actually like the fact Sympathize that, with you. Yeah, that, that, that you, you would, broke the rules for a good cause. You come out there and you say, one day, I admit, I reported a $15,000 van that was donated as a $30,000 van. It was the wrong decision. However... It was the right decision in so many ways because of all those children, those children it's like that Bachman otherwise talking about all her, uh, all her children, or all her 23 adopted or, or foster children, mm -hmm. 23,000 adopted children, those children would not have been able to get to where they needed to go. They would have not been playing in those parks. They would not have been learning to ride their bikes and they would not have been out there learning to play death metal every single weekend. And that is an experience that is invaluable to every child that was ever coming through our program at the time. So I stand behind it, and I would do it again today. Because I love America, and I love children. <laughs> right. And children are America. Children are our future, as Michael Jackson would have said. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break. Make sure to like The David Pakman Show on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. Get a David Pakman Show t-shirt at davidpakman.com. The Psychic in studio next. What will she find out about Lewis? The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.